Success is not a one-size-fits-all concept. Material possessions like cars or houses don't define it, nor is it merely a financial status. True success is the ongoing journey of realizing the unique design of your life and making it a reality. It's about achieving what matters most to you and your family. You have the autonomy to embrace responsibilities or to decline them. The choice is yours. Remember, we have been gifted with the power of choice, and with it comes the ability to shape our paths to success. Each of us faces two distinct choices regarding how we live our lives. The first choice is to settle for less than our true potential. This means earning less, having less, reading less, thinking less, and striving less. These choices lead to a life that feels empty, one marked by constant anxiety instead of a joyful anticipation of what's to come. The second choice is to embrace the fullness of life. It's the choice to become everything we can be, to read voraciously, to earn abundantly, to give generously, and to accomplish as much as possible. We have the power to choose between doing and not doing, being and not being, and either reaching for greatness or remaining stagnant. Like a tree that stretches toward the sky, we should strive to expand our capabilities to their fullest. Why not commit to doing our best at every moment for as long as we can? Our ultimate goal should be to create as much as our talent, ability, and passion allow. To settle for less is to fail at one of life's greatest endeavors. Results are the true measure of our progress. Nothing else matters as much. Not just conversations, explanations, or justifications, but tangible results. If our outcomes fall short of our potential, we must work to be better today than we were yesterday. The greatest rewards are reserved for those who add immense value to themselves and to the world by becoming the best version of themselves. Every life form except human beings operates purely on instinct dictated by their genetic code. They have no real choices to make. Take, for instance, the goose that flies south in winter. Why does it head that way? Because it's a goose and it doesn't have the option to fly west. If you suggested that it would be better to go west, the goose wouldn't heed your advice. It simply continues south, driven by instinct with no alternatives. Humans, on the other hand, possess the extraordinary gift of choice. Unlike a tree rooted in one spot, consuming all its nutrients until it can no longer survive, we can move in any direction we desire. We can venture north, south, east, or west. This dignity of choice is a hallmark of our humanity. Interestingly, while we have this freedom, other life forms instinctively strive to reach their maximum potential. A tree, for example, grows as tall as it possibly can. You'll never find a tree that only grows halfway. That simply doesn't happen. Trees push their roots deep, spread their leaves wide, and extend themselves to the fullest extent of their abilities. So why don't we, as human beings, always strive to reach our maximum potential? The answer lies in our ability to choose. Unlike other life forms, we are not bound by instinct alone. We have the dignity and responsibility of choice, which can sometimes lead us to settle for less than what we are capable of achieving. Embracing this freedom means recognizing our potential and choosing to extend ourselves fully, just as every other life form does instinctively. Do it all or don't. In life, you have the extraordinary power to choose how much of your potential you want to realize. You can either be a part of what you could become or strive to be all of it. The choice is yours. You might opt to do just a little to make yourself comfortable, allowing yourself to forget the rest. Alternatively, you can choose to embrace the fullness of your capabilities and do it all. There's no one here to dictate how much you must achieve. That notion is nonsense. You don't have to conform to societal expectations that pressure you to be rich just because you live in a wealthy country. You can choose to do a little, some, or a lot, whatever feels right for you. It's essential to seek advice and gather information, but never allow anyone to dictate your life. Take in training and teachings, but don't let others impose orders about how you should live, what you should own, or the actions you need to take. As you may know, success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Being successful is a personal choice, deeply rooted in the actions we take daily. What we teach revolves around possibilities, and it's up to each individual to choose their path. You can take a little, take a lot, do something, do nothing, or even ignore the subject altogether. 
the responsibility lies within you. Reflecting on the words of Abraham Lincoln, as I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master. This philosophy reminds us that freedom is a two-way street. Just as we should avoid being shackled by others, we should also refrain from attempting to control our choices. Imagine someone saying, I'm cashing it in and heading for the mountains. I'm going to live in a little cabin, live off the land, and feed the squirrels. And if he chooses this path and follows through, he is, without a doubt, a smashing success. Why? Because he is living according to his design and pulling it off. Success is not merely about wealth or societal status. It's about fulfilling your vision. If your design for life brings you satisfaction and joy, then you are on the right path. If it doesn't, then don't hesitate to make alternatives and implement change. Embrace better ideas and adapt them to fit your vision. But always remember, these should be choices you make for yourself, not orders imposed by others. As you navigate your journey, let the power of choice guide you. Decide to stretch your capabilities, challenge your limits, and fulfill your potential. The true essence of life lies in crafting your path and pursuing what genuinely satisfies you. After all, the greatest achievements come from those who dare to make their own choices and live life to the fullest. Design your life. Design your own life like you want it. You have the power to shape your future and make it reflect your desires and values. While it's true that you can choose to ignore your responsibilities, doing so often leads to an uneasy conscience. As the old proverb wisely reminds us, some things that taste good now in the mouth turn bitter later in the belly. Sacrificing your responsibilities for fleeting pleasures is a path you want to avoid. Every person faces one of two pains in life, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The choice is yours, but we encourage everyone to embrace discipline. Why? Disciplines weigh only ounces, while regrets can weigh tons. Choosing discipline over regret is a far wiser path. Yes, you have the freedom to make decisions, but some choices are poor trade-offs that lead to long-term dissatisfaction. Consider the poignant question posed by the old prophet. What if you gain the whole world, but lose your soul? Is that a worthy trade? With a bit of intelligence, we instinctively know the answer is no. Gaining everything material while sacrificing your integrity and essence would lead to a bitter, empty experience that's far from fulfilling. You cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. Making conscious decisions today that will shape the future you desire. Designing your life means making choices that align with your values and aspirations. It's about cultivating habits and disciplines that contribute positively to your well-being and fulfillment. Reflect on your responsibilities and consider how they fit into your life's design. Embrace the disciplines that will guide you toward your goals and don't shy away from the hard work required to achieve them. By doing so, you will build a life that resonates with your true self and brings lasting satisfaction. Ultimately, life is about making choices that lead you to a destination where you can feel proud and fulfilled. Choose wisely, for the journey you create today will shape the legacy you leave behind. The key to getting all you want is discipline. For every disciplined effort you make, a multitude of rewards awaits you. This is one of life's magnificent arrangements. Just like the farmer who sows seeds with care, you too must sow well to reap well. Life operates under a set of laws that govern our behaviors, but perhaps none is more crucial than the law of sowing and reaping. For every disciplined effort, there are multiple rewards. What a powerful concept. When you provide unique service to others, your rewards will be multiplied. When you practice fairness, honesty, and patience, your rewards will multiply further. If you choose to give more than you expect to receive, you'll find that your returns exceed your expectations. Yet, it's important to remember the key word here, discipline. Everything of value in life requires care, attention, and yes, discipline. Our thoughts demand discipline. We must consistently define our inner boundaries and establish our codes of conduct. Otherwise, our thoughts will become tangled and chaotic. Confused thoughts lead to confused results, and before long we can find ourselves hopelessly lost in the maze of life. 
Let's not forget the law. For every disciplined effort, there are multiple rewards. Embrace the discipline of writing a thoughtful card or letter to a friend. Learn the discipline of paying your bills on time, arriving at appointments punctually, and utilizing your time effectively. Practice the discipline of paying attention, meeting your tax obligations, and most importantly, paying yourself, investing in your growth and well-being. Additionally, cultivate the discipline of holding regular meetings with those who matter most, your associates, your spouse, your child, or your parent. Make it a point to learn all you can, to teach all you can, and to read as much as possible. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. So, as you design your life and strive for your dreams, remember that the key to unlocking your potential lies in embracing discipline. Each small, disciplined action you take compounds into significant rewards over time. The path to your desires is paved with the choices you make today. So choose wisely and embrace the discipline that will lead you to the life you envision. What if I gain something through greed rather than legitimate ambition? I'm here to tell you that it might taste sweet in the beginning, but it will ultimately turn bitter in the belly. This truth has the power to save some people from devastation if they take it to heart. When I consider my actions, I remind myself, I'd better think twice about that. We must confront the laws that govern our lives, spiritual laws, agricultural laws, and the fundamental laws of existence. Understanding these principles is essential for creating a fulfilling life. Each law serves a purpose and guides us toward making better choices. But here's the empowering truth. I can still design my own life regardless of those laws. I have the freedom to choose, whether that means going a little or a lot in pursuit of my dreams. I can venture east, north, south, or wherever my vision leads me. The key is to ensure that my choices align with my values and ambitions. I realize that genuine ambition, driven by purpose and integrity, leads to lasting rewards, while greed often leads to fleeting gains and ultimately disappointing consequences. I choose to focus on my ambitions and what truly matters, knowing that the rewards of legitimate efforts will nourish my spirit and satisfy my soul. As I navigate my journey, I'll always prioritize my values and intentions. By doing so, I not only design a life I can be proud of, but I also contribute positively to the world around me. So let me embrace the freedom to choose my path wisely, keeping in mind that true success comes from ambition rooted in integrity, not greed. In conclusion, the life I choose to design hinges on the principles I uphold and the choices I make. I must remain vigilant against the allure of quick gains that stem from greed, recognizing that true fulfillment comes from ambition grounded in integrity and purpose. As I navigate this journey, I will confront the laws that govern my existence while carving my path through thoughtful decisions. My legacy will be shaped not only by the goals I achieve, but also by the values I embody along the way. By committing to disciplined efforts and prioritizing meaningful pursuits, I can create a life rich in purpose and satisfaction. I will strive to leave a lasting impact, knowing that every choice I make contributes to the tapestry of my existence. Embracing this mindset empowers me to live fully, to rise above mediocrity, and to embrace the profound rewards that come from a life well lived. Uh...